this PC is so powerful I have to add a second power supply unit because it's hitting over 1000 watts. It has a 4090 right there, a 13900KS processor, so that's hitting over 6 gigahertz, and a thermal electric cooler. So it's actually sub ambient temperatures where the 13900KS is hitting 0 degrees Celsius. Right now there's a 1200 watt 80 plus gold power supply unit powering this entire system, so it's definitely almost at its max. What we want to do is add a second tough power gf3 1200 watt 80 plus gold and this one is going to dedicatedly just power the rtx 4090. let's go ahead and take this off let's unplug the 4090 from this very careful oh, yep came right out notice the padding on the back of the motherboard here that's to help reduce the condensation potential from the thermoelectric cooler because sub ambient temperatures and that just slid right in because this is the O11 Dynamic Evo. So it actually is made to have two power supply units if you need that. And now we're going to use the splitter. So this is going to plug into the motherboard. This is going to plug into the main power supply unit on the bottom. And this one is just going to be a dummy one for the GPU power supply. And then we're going to use an extension cable to make it look pretty. Extension cables plugged into the motherboard. The PSU splitter is plugged into the extension cable. We're going to use this one for the top power supply unit just like that and the bottom power supply unit this is going to go in this one just like that the power for the 4090 is now running up here so this entire power supply unit is going to be managing this this power supply unit is going to be managing everything else don't worry about the cable management okay so we have slightly better cable management if it sits, it fits. Or if it fits, it sits. One of the two. Power supply one is plugged in. And now, power supply two is plugged in. How about that? So this power supply is going to be in one UPS unit. This one is going to be in a second UPS unit. So two different uninterruptible power supply units to balance the load. We can now flip both switches. Press the power button. GPU spins. PC turns on. Two different power supply units. So now we can go ham wild with the thermoelectric cooler, making this 13900KS processor zero degrees Celsius as much as we want. And then the 4090 is on its own power supply unit. And one of the immediate benefits from doing this is because now there's two 1200 watt 80 plus gold power supply units. And before I was at 1000 watts, I was kind of outside of the efficiency curve for power supplies. Now I'm going to be splitting that in half. So it's going to save me electricity. This is going to be more efficient on power. So if you like interesting and possibly unique content like this, go ahead and drop a follow and follow me on all the other socials as well.